Hi, welcome back to Papa John's Pantry. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, questions, comments, reach out to me at Papa John's Pantry at gmail.com. Today we are making shit on the shingle. SOS. Alright, it is a long forgotten, disappointingly. I don't know why it's long forgotten because it is absolutely delicious. This is a a very simple thing to make. More of a lunch item than a dinner item, but we're having it for dinner tonight. You serve it up over toast. We're going to be using a cup of flour, four tablespoons of butter, uh, five cups of uh, milk, a whole can. They, 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 a whole can of this dried beef, uh, parsley, but like a tablespoon tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, um, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, I am going to mount you in the uh, the camera mount, and we're doing this one on the stove top, okay? See you in a moment. All right, let's get to it. We're going to do this on a, a low flame. We're going to melt our butter down. And then we're going to stir in our, um, we're going to stir in our flour. All right, I'll see you once this is melted. So while the butter's, while the butter's melting, I'm going to cut up this dried beef. It comes in, in this, this jar. Some, um, some of them might also come in a package. So it's just little, it's just little slices of meat. I'm just going to cut it up with some kitchen shears. If you don't, in the strips, if you don't have kitchen shears, just take your, your chef's knife on no cutting board, but all right, you're just going to take it all and and this is a five ounce can. I have never seen it in any kind of bigger container. All right, so you just you cut it up into strips and butter's almost melted. I'll see you in a second. All right, so butter's just about done melting. Right, I'm gonna put my cup of flour in, give this a stir. And we're, we're just making a white sauce. That's all we're making. Right now we've got our roux in the bottom of the pan. Very similar to how you'd start making your mac and cheese or that yeah, kind of stuff. So, all right, there's that. I'm going to switch over now to a wire whisk. Get a little bit of debris off my off my spoon here, so I don't have clumps when I portion this. All right, we're going to turn this. We're going to turn this flame down just a smidge bit lower to. Almost a, a simmer. All right, we're gonna dump our five cups of milk in. And for this, you're using milk and not heavy cream because that would just be way, way too, way too rich. And we're gonna whisk in the milk to our roux. And we're gonna let this come to a boil. All right, in the meantime, we can go ahead and add our seasonings. So, tablespoon of parsley, tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, teaspoon of garlic powder not salt and that meat we use the dried beef is very salty so you don't want to you really shouldn't have to add salt to this and half a teaspoon of black pepper all right let me give this and as this heats up, you'll constantly, you'll constantly stir this. 
with the, not constantly, but every, every minute or so while it heats up, give that a, a stir with your whisk. Um, and take your meat, separate it, so it um, doesn't all clump together when we put it in. And I'll see you in a few minutes once it starts heating up. And this is just about getting ready to boil. If you, I don't know if you can see it steaming or not, but it's thickened up. Once this boils, we're just gonna turn it off, stir in the meat, um, just because it's uh, that meat is so thin, it's you don't need to really heat it up. And then this this done. We're gonna serve this up over toast. All right, and uh, I'll see you when it's time to add the meat in. All right, so we are bubbly. We're adding our our meat in. You can switch back to your to your your, your spoon because um, you'll need to serve this. Give that a good stir. Like I said, that meat's so thin with the starting to boil, it's not going to. It's going to obviously it's still steaming. It's still nice and hot. And then we're going to serve this up over toast. Um, if you feel this needs some salt, slowly add some to your taste, but this this is fine just as is, all right? And thanks for watching SOS. I'll show you a picture. I'll take a picture and end the video with it uh, prepared. I'm waiting for my family to get home, so I got this done a little early. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.